Welcome to the Data Hall YouTube channel. In this video, we are going to apply the between estimation, within estimation, and the first difference estimation in this data. In our previous lecture, we discussed the theoretical aspects of all these three methods. And in this video, we are going to apply them in Strata. So let's get started. Let's import a data. So this is basically the NLS uh, data set that I'm all using. But what I have done is that I have taken some aspect of this data. So this data is around 30,000 observations, but I'm just using 1290 observation. Okay, so I remember the between estimation. Uh, let's just limit our data set. Uh, first, I'm going to use a manual method that is I'm going to uh, create means and then use the simple regression. And then I'm going to use an automated method. Uh, this manual method helps us understand how this technique works. Okay, so uh, let's just keep this uh, interest, uh, the variables that we are interested in. We are interested in the ID code, that is the code of the individual. Uh, then we have years, the wage, and the hours. And let me sh show you the data. This is how the data is. We have a panel data. So this is individual number three, the different years of data, uh, and so on and so forth. Okay. So um, what we did in between uh, effect was we took the mean of uh, all the dependent and the independent variables uh, over uh, over the ID code or over the cross section. So we convert this into cross sectional data. So to take the mean, we use the collapse command, uh, and then we take the mean uh, of these variables. If you want to understand this collapse command in detail, then we do have a video uh, on collapse uh, on our channel. And we have want to collapse this by ID code. So by ID code means that what it would do is it would take the average of uh, this uh, first individual, uh, and then it would take the average of the second individual and so on and so forth. So this is what by ID code would do. So if we do that, what it would do is it would collapse the data. And do remember from our previous video, we discussed that one of the disadvantage of between estimation is that it collapses the data. It loses the richness of the data. And then next, what we do is we simply apply the OLS regression. And let's say our, uh, we want to study the impact of number of hours of work on wages. We regress uh, and we get our estimates, right? Um, now we, we would apply this automated method and then we would just compare these results, uh, how these results are, whether the automated method gives us the same results as we have used uh, using the manual method. So let's re-import the data because I have collapsed the data and lost the panel data. And uh, let's also keep the variables that we are interested in. Remember to apply the xtdirect command. We first have to use xtset. We have to tell Strata that our data is panel and the, uh, the cross-sectional variable and the year variable would have to be mentioned with the xtset command. So it says that it is a strongly balanced panel data. Remember, we have discussed what balanced and balanced panel data is. Now let's regress. And let me just take the snapshot of these results. And that we would try to compare them with, uh, with, with our manual method. So this is how the results look like. And this is how they look with. The, so the, the coefficients are same, right? The constant is same. We have the same T value uh, for the the number of hours or an independent variable and for the constant. And we also have the similar probability value, right? So um, so this xtreg BE option does the between estimation. And if we can go to the help menu of this, you can see over here that it says between estimation and for between estimation, you'd have to use this BE option. but uh, do remember, uh, when you're applying this method, uh, using, let's just say, manual method and comparing it with, with the xtreg B option, uh, you might see different results. And the reason is that when, 
when there is balanced panel then this be command would use this be option would use uh, OLS regression and when there is unbalanced panel then it would use weighted least square method so this methodology would be different so hence you would get different results if uh, you are applying let's just say manual method and um, the automated method just for the comparison purposes right uh, usually that wouldn't happen. You you do not have to do manual method. You just have to use the B uh, option. Uh, that's a quick way. But just in case uh, you get there. Next move to, uh, let's move to fast difference estimation. Uh, let's again get some of uh, you know, this NLS work data. Again, we have 28,000 observation, but we would like to just keep uh, the 68 and 69 year. Uh, the data for the year 1968 and 1969. Uh, okay, so we have limited our data and we have deleted a lot of observations. So we just have 2600 observations. Uh, there is a reason for that. I just want to make sure that because we are using first different and I want to use a manual method and then compare it with the automated method. So I just want to make sure that we do not mess up things. <clears throat> okay. Again, so we have to tell Stata that the data that we are using is a panel data. We have to explicit our data. And next we are going to regress uh, the differences of these variables. So um, we could have generated different variables that I have done over here, but let's uh, do a quick way. So we regress the differences of these variables, but remember to use no constant, right? So with first difference. So we get our results. Uh, remember the first difference would give us the exactly same results as xtreg fe. <clears throat> uh, this is the within estimation uh, in Strata. So if you use the, the fe model method, then you would see that the coefficient is 0 0.00369, which is same over here and the t value is also same, right? Just to give you a more uh, detail of this method, what we have done is we have taken difference of the dependent variable, which is wage, and the difference of the number of hours, uh, which is our uh, independent variable. And how do we take differences? We do d dot and then the variable name. So let me just generate these differences and let me show it to you how the differences look like. So let me just limit the data. Uh, instead of having all these. So I have limited the number of variables over here. Uh, you can see that uh, the, the difference is uh, this value in year 69 minus the value in year 68 for each cross section. So that's why we have the first value as missing because there is no previous value, previous value means 67 we do not have year 67 so we we have this missing value and that is what we discussed in our previous video the one of the major drawback of first differencing is that we loses we lose a lot of observations right uh, and then we regress the differences of these two variables and you can see that we get exactly the same results as we did in uh, fe or in uh, in regress d dot which is the uh, the simplest way uh, if you want to apply a manual method uh, and see how we have 850 observations instead of 2600 observations in uh, uh, in this method because we are taking differences okay uh, so that was a first difference estimation uh, na lastly we do the within estimation and in within estimation what we do is we take the mean and deduct it from the original values. So for each, by each ID code, we generate a mean, right? For the wage variable and for the number of hours variable, then we generate a D mean of those variables. So we D mean those two variables by deducting the original value, the observation, of, um, the mean from the original value. So that, that's that way we have a demeaned wage and demeaned number of hours and we regress these demeaned variables and we get exactly the same 
uh, coefficient. All the t value is different, but that the reason is that the standard error is different. Uh, because, uh, I mean, we, we have to use a different set of demeaning, but that gets complicated and I have simplified this method. So the coefficient is exactly the same. Uh, do remember that when you use XT reg with FE option, you are actually using the within estimation, not the least square dummy variable I have, as I have explained in our previous videos. Uh, I use least square dummy variable method because that is easy to understand. So whenever you're using uh, the XT reg with fixed effect option, FE option, it is using the within estimation. So I hope that this video is useful. Uh, thanks for watching this video and do subscribe to this channel and do hit the bell icon.